All right, so X86, Coach, watching that. All right, so there's no issue if you're heading uh, northbound into and want to get to NWAC. No problems there. But if you're coming from the north trying to get to NWAC, there's an issue because that ramp is closed. All right, so ramps will be closed through May. All right, so we're going to be having to deal with this uh, X86 issue for several months, and eventually traffic will get used to it. Right now, it's not doing too bad, actually. So we have a winter weather advisory that's been issued for northwest Arkansas. Runs later on this morning. Really, it's for this afternoon. Uh, what will happen is that we're watching just for the potential for some slippery conditions that could develop as the system first comes in. Uh, other than that, it looks like it's going to be changing over to rain eventually. However, there is enough dynamics with the system that there's still some unknowns in that, especially over the northern counties around the border of Missouri could get a little bit more snow or some snow mixed with sleet at times and and so we're going to be watching for that. I think a lot of sleet is coming, though. Uh, a lot of sleet coming for Northwest Arkansas. Right now, we're just watching it, and we're waiting for this to develop right out in here. This will really get going. It'll just, like, expand very quickly, and it'll move to the north. And we're going to get some decent uh, rainfall amounts or rainfall and sleet amounts. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean coming up. All right, so here's the model. I don't believe this stuff early this morning. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we'll wait till this afternoon. So here comes this yellow and orange. See that right here south of McAllister? That's around noontime. Light rain in the Fort Smith area by noon should be happening there and then noontime and after here in northwest Arkansas and so here it comes and that yellow and orange this indicates probably in the form of some sleet I would imagine that there's enough dynamics with the system that sleet is uh, certainly a pretty good bet especially the first part of it and then enough cold air gets in here that might change over see that little blue there around four o'clock might be a little bit of snow there on the border there and this is probably a little bit of sleet mixed with some rain here. And then look, see how it got colder there this afternoon, this evening, about 7.30. It shows enough colder gets in there that we might have a little bit of a mix continuing over parts of the area. So we're watching for that for today. Some potential for some light snow amounts over northern Benton County and northern Carroll County. We'll show you that 70 forecast coming up in a few minutes. Caitlin.